My name is Aaron Bluestone. I'm an RFC on the Versant or Versant. I'm going to show you how to switch from a free flow to a fiery. First, you have to note which is your left and right cables so you know where things will go. This is the back of the press. The right cable I've labeled with press right. Going to the back of the free flow, the right one is actually the left one here, as you can see. I've labeled this one MY, and I've scratched on the back of here because there's no labeling. MY for left and CK for right, so I know which goes where. I currently, by the way, have the press turned on and all the rips turned on, so I'm going to go ahead real quick here and lean over, and I'm going to turn the press off because I'm going to actually switch everything here. Just so you know, there's two network ports which are not very clearly labeled on the back of the free flow. The left one is to the network. It's got like a little three network thingies there. And on the right one is the one that goes to the printer using a cable, which was labeled crossover cable, which um, goes ahead and plugs into the top port on the back of the printer. So now that my press is off, I'm gonna unplug these two cables and I'm gonna go over here and the fiery is already labeled for um, which one is, um, as you can see, CK and MY. So I know my MY goes to here, my CK goes to there. I also need to bring my crossover cable with me. So taking that out of the right port and putting that into the bottom port. If I zoom in here, hopefully you'll be able to see the top one is the LAN and the bottom one is the um, crossover cable going to the printer. So now that I've done that, we're gonna make some changes that are necessary on our actual printer. So I'm gonna turn this back on. Hopefully this comes up quickly so we don't have a lot of dead time. For whatever reason, the free flow and the fiery require different network settings to take place on the actual interface here. So you won't have to make any network changes over on the printer, but you will have to, I mean, over on the RIP servers, no matter which way you're going, but you will have to make changes here at the interface, which luckily has come up. So I'm gonna hurry up with this to keep this quick. I'm gonna hit the log in, log out button here and it comes up, um, my admin login ID is admin, A-D-M-I-N, enter. And then I am going to go to tools, and then I'm gonna go to tools, and then I'm gonna go to connectivity, where am I going actually? I'm going to connectivity and network setup, and then, I'm going to protocol settings and then I'm going to my TCP IP network settings and hitting change settings. Now here you see what the various settings are. They are currently configured for a free flow print server and I can know that because if I look at my cheat sheet here, the Free, you can see here, and I'll try and zoom out, you're gonna to wanna to pause this, that the gateway for the fiery and free flow and the subnet for the fiery and free flow are different and they must be changed when you're switching from one rip to another. I'm gonna end the video now. You know where you are on the interface. So for example, oh, by the way, before I end the video, up at the top here, you will not be able to, you have to hit change settings if you're not on a static IP address. You must be on a static IP address to be able to change any of these settings here. So make sure you're on static or it won't let you change the subnet and gateway, which you must change again to these guys here. So once you've made the changes here um, to your settings, you'll be able to exit all the way out. It'll ask you to reboot, 
and then everything should work with your firing free flow. It's about five minutes in, hopefully that's all you need to know and hopefully this works. My email address is Aaron, A-A-R-O-N dot Bluestone, B-L-U-E-S-T-O-N-E at Xerox.com if you have any questions after seeing this video. Have a good day.